Wherever darkness is, there is a light that will come and dispel the darkness. So people of God, wherever you live, you must stand in the gap for your cities. You must stand in worship and declare the ownership of your land belongs to God through Jesus Christ, his son. Are you preparing the way of the Lord? Are you ready for the Lord to show up in the Netherlands like he's never shown up before? Would you like him to come and turn your churches inside out and upside down? Would you like praise to break out in the schools so they couldn't even conduct their classes? The earth belongs to the Lord. He's going to come and show himself glorious to his people. But you must be ready for him or he will pass you by. He's coming for a hungry people or a thirsty worshiping church, not those who go through the motions of religion. God has no time for religion. He hates religion. He loves your relationship. He doesn't care about you having religious meetings every week so that you can put a check mark on your calendar that you did your duty. He wants to engage his heart with your heart. For his son died for you as if you were the only person that ever lived. Hallelujah. It's a passionate worship we must offer up to him. Anytime I sing that song, I just feel the anointing of God all over me because I am a prophet to the nations for worship. I am one to go and call down the anointing of worship on the nations. And that's why I'm here. I didn't come here because I enjoy long plane rides. I didn't come here because I didn't have anything else to do. It's the busiest time of my entire life. But I must come and proclaim Jesus to the nations. Take your seats for a minute. You know, I was in Tokyo, Japan, um, just a few years ago. <clears throat> And I was very sick in my body for a conference that I was doing. And I was sharing the conference with a, a pastor from um, Uganda, Robert Kayan, Kayanja, something like that. And But this night was just for me, just for worship, and I was so ill. I couldn't sing. I couldn't talk. I was coughing. I had all kinds of congestion. And... Um, we just had the little ministry team pray for me before I went out. And somehow God gave me a voice so that I could begin to sing. And after about the second or third song, I felt this travail come over me for Tokyo. And I had never been to Tokyo before, Japan. And I just, I, I went into a zone that I have never been in as a worship leader. And I began to cry out, the Lordship of Jesus will be established in Japan. And as I cried it out, I began to just travail and weep and, and, and um, almost scream this out over the people. There were about 300 people gathered, which in Japan is a very large conference. Most of their conferences have like 40 people that come because it's so dark in that, in that nation. Their Christianity is so little. And I just began to cry out, the Lordship of Jesus will be established in Japan. And I didn't know why I was doing it, and I couldn't stop. And I mean, people, I was screaming this at the top of my lungs. You've never seen a Terry like this. I have never seen a Terry like this. Here I was in the natural, so sick in my body. But in the spirit, I was becoming a, uh, a stand-in-the-gap force for Tokyo and for all of Japan. And, and I, I went through several minutes of just crying before the Lord. Couldn't play or sing or anything. Just weeping and travailing over the nation. And it was so strange. And I got back in the car to go back to the hotel after the service was over. And the lady who was driving us, she spoke very little English. She, she said, very important that you do this tonight. And I said, what? She said that you that you make that declaration. I said, why? She said, this is the one day every year that the prime minister of Japan bows before the gods of Shinto. 
and it's a very public thing. They have television cameras, and his whole team goes, and he bows and worships this God. And I begin to cry because that was just happening a few miles from where we were at. But you see, the king of the earth was saying, no, 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 my son's name will be established in my land. Wherever darkness is, there is a light that will come and dispel the darkness. So people of God, wherever you live, you must stand in the gap for your cities. You must stand in worship and declare the ownership of your land belongs to God through Jesus Christ, his son. When he died on the cross, he settled the issue once and for all. So don't lose heart wherever you're at. I know some of you are in dry areas. Listen, get a few of you together and just begin to worship. Put on the worship CDs and just declare the lordship of Jesus will be established in the Netherlands, into the north part, into the south part, to the east part, and to the west part. Even the surrounding countries around the Netherlands will be affected by the worship that takes place in our nation. God wants to come and revive you. That's why I came to tell you that. He wants to come and do something brand new that you have not tasted before. And I know, listen, they told me in Tokyo, Billy Graham used to go there and he doesn't go there anymore. Dr. Cho used to go there. Benny Hinn used to go there. They all said, we cannot go back. It's too hard. But God sent one little piano player in there to say, the lordship of Jesus will still be established in Japan. Whether my other servants go or not, I will establish the name of my son in that land. And I believe that. What power did the God of Shinto have? Nothing. Who's that? He's not alive. My God's alive. My God heals the sick, raises the dead, performs mighty miracles. Amen. Amen, Brother Paul. Hallelujah. Something to get excited about. We serve a living God, not some graven image, not some idol, not some name that existed thousands of years ago but has been dead for thousands of years. Who wants to pray to a dead idol? I want to pray to somebody who's alive. The power of my God raised his son from the dead three days later after he had completed all that there was to complete. That's why I was saying the other night, everything you need is provided in the cross of Christ. You don't need other things in your life. You don't need alcohol or tobacco or drugs. You don't need illicit sex. You don't need these things. The enemy says you need them. You are buying a lie if you believe that. I know what I know about the cross. It has accomplished. Jesus said, it is finished. No more. Now just apply the work that I've done, he said. I've taken your sickness. I've taken your sins and your infirmities. I became that awful thing. It was destroyed and crucified. Now I am the new life that God has raised up, and you have life in me. Don't go back to a yoke of slavery. Live free. Live in victory. I bring you victory. I think the Lord just loves rejoicing over his church, and it saddens him when he sees all the work that he did not being applied by his, by his kids. He wants you to be so free. He wants me to be so free. I am freer now than I've ever been in my life because Jesus has made me free. Hallelujah. Mm. Thank you, Lord. I just give you praise today. Over Holland, I give you praise over this nation. I give you praise over these people. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You're such a worthy king.